Good day, tubes. How's it going? Well, got a wee bit of an issue with this uh, pipe that's up here. Good day, tubes. Well, it's pissing down rain outside. And I nearly killed myself. There's an old copper pipe up in there for the drain for the kitchen sink and uh, it's quite a long run from this side to the other side I guess and I don't know someone whenever they put it in they didn't put the fall right or something and about once every year and a bit I gotta get the snake in there and give that uh, pipe a snaking out so I'm uh, thinking I might just replace the whole thing with some of the new stuff gold plastic and there it is the other side there uh, I don't know if that's going to help at all but uh, she's a fair long run and, uh, and it goes this way above the vents over here and I guess they had a problem with it before once and then they uh, they keyed into her or put uh, one of the plastics under there again, so I might just redo her all with this stuff, the plastic, eh? Um, so then it turns and it goes down into the, the main poop pipe there, so still a bit of copper here and there the way. Good old big stuff, copper stuff, man, imagine the price of that stuff now. But uh, yeah, copper drain pipes, holy jumping. Well, with the ceiling was a bedroom at one time and they had finished her all and you know put this drywall up there and, and now it's uh, kind of going to be in my way for uh, trying to get the new pipe in because it's uh, just not going to work I'm going to have to take some of her out I guess you know here and, and then cut along the beam there like I've started so I can get the, the new pipe in right so that'll kind of suck but uh, Way she goes, I guess, eh? Way she goes. So yeah, as you can see, she's just crap. This side's actually gone down a little bit. But uh, yeah, she's not, uh, she must be really bunged up now, freak sakes. And so there's those two drains. And it goes into the copper there. Then over to the next cabinet here. And then way under there, there's one of them. Drops her down a bit, I guess, and uh, then goes down through the wall and down the back. Completely dickered. So we're downstairs here again, and I think my game plan is going to be just to try to tap into her there. Or maybe just at the bend here, past the bend, because it's from there down, I think, that it's all screwy. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a sound test here, see if you can hear the... Okay, now listen to this over here. Okay, so we're just down a bit more. Hear the difference? Okay, it's a little more solid there, that's where all the crap sits in it. And here. Now listen to this pipe, this is the one that comes from the sink upstairs and the bathtub. So listen to this one nothing in that right it's all clear because it's just regular water you're drawing, drawing down they're not all oily stuff from the dishes right so two so there's quite a difference there so curious to see what this sounds like that doesn't sound too bad and this big one here is from the washer yeah so imagine this piece here is probably fine but uh this hunk of copper from there all the way back that it gets settled in I guess and I don't know if there's something with copper that uh, they didn't know uh, back then something with that crap in it or the plastic is better I don't know I never really had much to do with it with plumbing stuff so but I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hack it back there Went to the night shot here hack her back just on this side of that fitting I think then tee into her like right there kind of thing and then run a new piece of plastic down so that would be freaking awesome because upstairs there where it goes through and then goes up the other way I'm going to have to yank all them cupboards and stuff out just to get in there for the pipe 
I don't think so. Don't think so. Imagine this part's okay, but uh, yeah, like I say, it's a run from here all the way down. So, oh, for frig sakes, gotta cut out this friggin' piece of drywall here, I guess, just to get that pipe in. And that's opening her up enough that I can get that pipe wedge down there anyways. I think that piece of strapping is going to have to come out. And I don't know if I like the way they got her up on the freaking cables like that. I wouldn't say that's uh, to code. So I'll have to figure something out there I guess. But uh, I'm hoping I can start back. Crap that's not even going to work. For sakes, I'm going to take more out. Because I can't start at the wall here and start shoving it up because that will never work. But um, I guess I can try, you know, holding the piece here and shoving her through up into there kind of thing. See if I can get her to just get enough to get out to here where it comes a bit straighter and I can just pull her through, eh? But I think they only come in 12 foot lengths, so it may not be too bad. But I guess we'll have to head to the headwar head to the hardware store tomorrow and uh, see what we can pick up. So I got an eight foot chunk here I had from something I worked on. I don't remember what, but uh, I'm gonna see how flexible it is up here to get up here. So I don't know. It's uh, got a bit of flex to it, but uh, not a whole lot. I think I can 
can do that. It comes in 12 foot lengths, they say on the website. I just like to know where all that water is coming from. Because it's not wet up there, but uh, I don't know. But, uh, so yeah, that was an 8 foot piece. So that wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's dripping right out of there. That's weird. But I can't feel anything behind there, of course, so I'll have to run upstairs and see if it's uh, wet up there, maybe. Okay, yeah, she must be severely uh, bunged up up there somewhere. That's why she's dripping here for some reason. I don't know why it's dripping, though, because everything's dry above there. Uh, looks like I'm going to be replacing the whole thing right to the sink. But, uh, away she goes. Well, I guess that's all hunk of tin in here was their, uh, freaking fire safe thingy, right? When they are freaking soldering these joints. Briggs, looks like they're wedged in there good. Still can't get behind her to feel, but it's all dry to that fitting, so something's dickered right at that fitting there. Stupid fittings. I bet you she's gotten rotten there. So now I want to take this lovely piece apart here and see how bunged up the pipe is. Uh, I imagine it's pretty darn good. So I'm going to take it off there and then I'll bung this uh, up there so we don't get uh, sewer stinked out. We'll get some tape or something and tape the crap out of that. Put a little rag down it maybe too and then uh, we'll pull it off here and see, uh, see how mucky we're going to get taking that apart. Ooh. Okay, so I got my little garbage can here just to catch any of the uh, possible mung that will likely come out of this pipe. So let's have a good look here. I think it's going to spew any second tubes. this guy here. Okay, we'll just pull the thing off. Freak sneaks, how about we just do that? That'll work just as well, won't it? Okay, I gotta get that uh, freaking bunged up with something because I can smell already, holy crap. Okay, so we're uh, definitely stinkless now, so that's awesome. And this is still dripping here a bit. Very interesting. But uh, let's have a look at this uh, black pipe here. It's shining down there now. And uh, we're going to see if we can see any light down at the end of the tunnel here. A little bit, eh? It's going to focus right in there for me. But... Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's not so good. So, uh... I don't know if I can get up there yet to show you that one because she's still dripping a bit, but uh, maybe I'll leave her for a few minutes. It'll slow down a bit and I can get up there and show you what's in that one. Well, I don't know how well this is going to work, but probably not too well. Uh, let me try it with a night shot off, maybe. Tell, but I think she's bunged up pretty good, anyways. Not further there, so freak sakes, eh? So I just drilled a test hole through there, and this goes through the floor, and then there's about this much room, I guess, and then up here is the the uh, bottom of the cupboard upstairs under by the sink there. So I'm oh, still dripping here, freak sakes. So I don't know why they did her this way, but. Uh, Basically what they've done is the sink's about here and they come out the sink, this is above this floor, and go this way into the top where this is and then 90 it down and then 90 it here and then out. Well that's making a lot extra bends for all that crap to have to travel it. Eh? So what I'm going to do is just come straight out of the sink, cut through the floor here and come straight down and then out. So it'll be a lot better. It'll be way more better. So. We're good there, 
So I guess, oh, that soaked out already, eh? Whew. Frig, that didn't take long. So I guess what I'm gonna do now is uh, go to the hardware store and get some supplies and uh, freaking get at her. <laughs> 